while into the decadent world of the 1920s. So I dug about, and what did I find but one of my favorite shows, The Drowsy Chaperone. It's about this guy who has a love affair with his favorite musical, and it comes to life around him. He's obsessed with uh, musicals of a particular era, especially, and he, uh, he desperately tries to share that enthusiasm with the audience. This is wonderful! Fresh from a triumphant, sold-out run in Los Angeles, where it has just won five Drama Critic Circle Awards, the new musical, The Drowsy Chaperone, is directed and choreographed by Casey Nicola. What's, what's fun about this is because it's completely original, we were able to take it and do whatever we wanted with it. The Drowsy Chaperone proves there's nothing drowsy on Broadway this season. It's a show that's full of surprises and uh, unexpected delights. <laughs> First you beat it up, then you sweet it up. The Drowsy Chaperone is a throwback to those zany musicals of the 1920s, which include singing and dancing, monkeys, and gangsters. I think somebody likened it to a spinal town, a Broadway musical. <laughs> and that's all this show is, fun. I thought it was different and weird and I mean of course you're like the what? The drowsy what? I tell people that it's called the drowsy which is kind of a euphemism for a little tipsy. As we push and we shove, we If live. you love theater, this is the show for you. The drowsy chaperone is such a phenomenon on so many levels. I, I can't even begin. She don't want to show off no more. You probably know by now, the five-time Tony-winning drowsy chaperone rose from very humble beginnings to become one of last season's most celebrated Broadway musicals. Unusual name for a musical, and then again, Drowsy's journey has been anything but ordinary. You know, from a, a bar in Toronto to a 1,600-seat theater in Times Square. Good grief! May I pose a question, madam? Why, yes, of course. Why does nothing I say to you ever get through? Don't mind if I do. A delightful show called The Drowsy Chaperone. Have you seen it? It's The Drowsy Chaperone. Go see it. You'll love it. Rob Martin and Beth Level, both of them nominated along with, well, they have 13 nominations for Best Musical in The Drowsy Chaperone. And the 2006 Tony Award goes to The Drowsy Chaperone. Theater Wings Tony Award goes to the Drowsy Chaperone! Now, go forth and spread the word. Go!